International News Today, July 6, 2019 Welcome to the International News Today with the latest world news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news, views, and insights, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now for the news. Large new earthquake shakes California. A 7.1 magnitude earthquake has rattled a desert area of Southern California, in the biggest tremor to strike in two decades U.S. meteorologists say. It struck at the shallow depths of 0.9 kilometers and its epicenter was near the city of Ridgecrest, about 240 kilometers northeast of Los Angeles. A 6.4 magnitude quake hit the same region on Thursday at a depth of nearly 11 kilometers. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones said the quakes could continue. This is an earthquake sequence, she said at a press conference. It will be ongoing. Every earthquake makes another earthquake more likely, she added. Heat wave creates record temperatures in Alaska. A new record high temperature has been set in the U.S. state of Alaska, part of which lies inside the Arctic Circle. A temperature of 32 degrees Celsius was reached at Anchorage Airport on Thursday, the U.S. Weather Service tweeted. The previous high was just under 30 degrees Celsius, and the average at this time of year is 18 degrees. Alaska had earlier broken records throughout a hot spring, particularly in the Arctic zone which is especially sensitive to fluctuations in climate. In a related story, CNN reported that climate change lawsuits are spreading around the world. Legal action on climate change has become a global phenomenon, with lawsuits launched against governments and corporate interests in 28 countries so far, according to new research published last week. A report from the Grantham Research Institute at the London School of Economics and Political Science looked at instances of legal action on climate change from 1990 to May 2019. Researchers found that while the U.S. remains the global leader in terms of climate change litigation, the prevalence of such lawsuits has spread worldwide. This reflects an increasing willingness to use litigation as a tool to influence policy. According to the report, human rights and science are playing an increasingly important role in these lawsuits. First Hong Kong protester charged A Hong Kong street artist was charged on Friday with assaulting a police officer and criminal damage. The first prosecution against an anti-government protester since the city was rocked by unprecedented demonstrations sparked by a law that would have allowed extraditions to mainland China. The city has witnessed three huge peaceful rallies as well as civil disobedience and violence. From a hardcore of younger protesters who have besieged the police headquarters, and on Monday, stormed the city's parliament. Authorities have vowed to hunt those behind the unrest that has plunged the semi-autonomous city's Beijing-backed government into crisis. Pun Ho Chu 31, appeared in court on Friday over his alleged involvement in the blockade of the city's police headquarters on June 21. Meanwhile in the UK, royals cause an almighty storm with Archie's christening. Harry and Meghan, Britain's Duke and Duchess of Sussex, have only been parents for a matter of months but they're already being accused of being overprotective. Criticism over the pair's decision to keep baby Archie out of the spotlight has been mounting for months. Meghan can't demand privacy for baby Archie while asking the public to fund her family's lifestyle, complained the Daily Telegraph. The Sunday Times quoted royal biographer Penny Junior as saying, They can't have it both ways. Either they are totally private, pay for their own house and disappear out of view, or play the game the way it is played. It's worth noting that royal baptisms have traditionally been private affairs. However, in recent years cameras have been allowed to capture the arrivals of the family and their guests. That was certainly the case for all three Cambridge children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, although they are higher in the line of succession. This Saturday, 
Harry and Meghan have arranged a completely private ceremony for Archie, led by the Archbishop of Canterbury at a chapel inside Windsor Castle. The palace won't officially confirm who's attending, though a royal source told CNN that fewer than 25 family and friends are invited. And while the media is excluded, pictures taken by their personal photographer, Chris Allerton, will be released after the service. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media International World News today. To keep updated with the latest news, views, and predictions, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you for joining our community.